How's it going guys? Welcome back to my amazing channel. Today I'm unboxing the Kamika V30 Pro Condenser Shotgun Microphone. V30 Pro, so uh, that's the name they had, uh, the microphone, you know, the directional condenser shotgun video microphone, and it says super cardio with a little graph telling you, you know, how it kind of, uh, uh, what kind of uh, interpolation you get there. Uh, on the side here, we've got some basic features, so you've got a low cut filter, we've got the included wind muff in there as well, uh, you've also got um, low self noise, easy to install, it is very easy, um, you've got the super cardioid symbol. Excellent shock absorber because it's got a little bit of suspension in the um, holder while it goes into your DSLR. You've got the 10 decibel um, adjustability sensitivity switch, and you've also got a super anti interference uh, microphone array. Um, on the back here, we've got some uh, specifications about the microphone. So it does actually use two AAA batteries on this, um, and you've, uh, each battery um, it says once you've got it um, installed, you've got about 200 hours worth of. Uh, battery uh, life out of this thing, so it doesn't use much uh, battery, so it is really good um, you know, for long term recording. Uh, you've got the included wind muff, the 10 decibel adjustable sensitivity, 3.5mm um, audio jack, normal audio jack to plug into the SLR. You've got, it's only 114 grams, and the length of it is 210 uh, millimeters there. Uh, <coughs> that you get there. All right, so let's just open up the uh, microphone. So this is the uh, box here. <coughs> when you slide it out, okay. Now, at the bottom here, falls out the uh, Kamika microphone off ride dealer pack, so you can chuck that away. You've got your warranty instructions there as well, and uh, you've got a Celestia gel packet, uh, so that will get in. You've got your user manual. Now, the user manual just basically says you know how to actually install it into your camera. Uh, how to install the included uh, wind muff, uh, how to use the people from the jack, how to install the batteries, all pretty straightforward kind of stuff, how to use the 10 decibel and the uh, low cut filter function and all that kind of stuff. So get that in the microphone there. Uh, this is your wind muff. Uh, if you take it out of the packet, it is a very thick uh, wind muff. Um, it is a good feeling, it feels that quality. On the inside there, you've got a microfiber mesh kind of uh, feeling, so it's not going to damage or scratch against the included um, foam cover that you've already got with the microphone, um, and it just pulls up over the top of it there. So we'll look at that in a bit of a second, but I'm just going to look at the microphone now. So I'm just going to take it out of this bag, this box there. Uh, so here we go, this is the microphone itself, um, you've got the uh, Kamika um, shotgun boom, so that's included with it as well as the wind muff, so you have got two booms there, so if it's not on a windy day or using it indoors, the, um, the shotgun boom is fine for that. Uh, on the back here you've got the Kamika logo there with the model number, you've also got the um, on and off button as well as the low cut filter button as well. 10 decibels work by switching the on-off button into the middle and then it's going to give you that 10 decibel boost. On the bottom there you've got a little um, slot where it slots into the DSLR uh, mount, the standard uh, SLR camera mount and you've also got a little adjustable uh, nut which you can tighten it to your mic, uh, to your uh, camera. 3.5mm jack as standard. The, uh, the boom itself is actually detachable, it simply just pulls straight off there and then you can move it aside, do what you want with it um, and then that reveals the actual shotgun part of the microphone array. Now on the end of the microphone you have got a little sponge uh, filter there which will help you know uh, when you are using it, if you are using it without the boom but I would recommend using it with a boom because it will stop it from getting damaged. Now, if you do want to put on the wind muff, it's really straightforward. <coughs> All you got to do is inside the wind muff there. You can see here it says insert there, and it's got a little back uh, cut out here, which will uh, allow you to pull it over the controls on the microphone back, and then you can still uh, use the controls. So all you got to do is you keep the microphone boom on, and you literally just shove the whole thing. Uh, into the back end of the uh, wind muff, like you're kind of filling up a cap. Uh, that's why they call it what is it, a dead cat or a dead rat or a dead mouse? Sometimes they call these things. And you just literally just push it straight in, 
and lay ball always facing this way um, and you just pull it right to the back and then you've got to put a bit of force into it but pull this bit out and then you just pull that over the, uh, the buttons there and then it looks like that when it's finished so it's a very big nice chunky uh, microphone with a huge muffle so it's got the wind muff on now as well as the boot so if you are in a windy environment you are filming outside and it is windy or bad weather you should be okay with uh, this kind of microphone with all that window protection there so you can get interference so when it's actually on there you've got access to the back controls there uh, which got through this cut out which is handy you can still get access to the 3.5 mm jack and it won't get in the way and then this just slots into your uh, DSLR camera there. I'll just take this uh, wind muff off and then I'll give you an idea of what it's, uh, where you put the batteries. So I'm going to take that off there and of course it comes off without pulling the boom, uh, uh, original boom off which is handy as well. Uh, so uh, if you want to take uh, out the batteries, you literally just got a little flap there and it says open, you've got push. You've got push, slide it forward and then it comes off. You've got the two AAA batteries that you've got to put inside there and then you can just slot that back in there, like so, dead easy. Now on the back here, when you want to turn on the uh, mic, all you've got to do is flip this microphone to the on position, then as you can see, the LED goes green to let you know that the actual microphone is running. That will stay on, it does not turn off. If you want to put it on the uh, 10 decibel boost, you simply put the switch between the off and on position, which will give you that extra boost. This is the high cut filter and you can turn that on and off depending on what you're recording and if you so require. So dead easy to use this mic, pretty straightforward. Let's see what it sounds like. So at the minute, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> at the minute I am actually recording the uh, audio using my uh, compact camera's built-in microphone so you can judge yourself for how good that thing sounds. I'm going to actually connect this to the same uh, camera. Um, I'm going to plug the 3.5mm jack into the camera and I'm going to play a little bit of a guitar riff on my acoustic guitar to at least uh, get a better idea of how it picks up the lows and highs of a guitar playing um, I'll also do a little bit of chat at the end as well so you can compare the microphone um, to the uh, built-in mic of the uh, camera I've already listened to it myself and I think it sounds absolutely fantastic if you do want to know where to buy it, the list below in the description and uh, let me know what you think, uh, but yeah, just uh, keep, keep tuned for this next bit. Microphone test! Alright guys, so tell me what you think of the microphone, do you think you like the sound of it? This is just a quick riff I'll just do it on guitar just so you get an idea of how it does actually sound like when it's recording. Now you can hear what it actually sounds like from the microphone from my voice. It's about a foot in front of me. You can compare it to the microphone of the built-in SLR that I was using earlier um, to actually uh, review the product. But tell me what you think. Um, if you want a link to buy it, it's in the uh, description below. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>